I'd like to welcome everyone to uh, Air Canada Centre, and welcome to those of you who are joining us on uh, television and radio, the internet today. Uh, joined up at the head table by Mr. Richard Petty, President and CEO of Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, and Mr. Cliff Fletcher. The format for today will be opening statements from Richard and Cliff, and then we'll open the floor to questions. Given the uh, size of the crowd today, we're using microphones, so uh, your question will be taken um, when, you, when you get the nod and the microphone is in front of your face, so uh, please respect the ground rules. Uh, we'll go about a half hour, I suspect. At 2 p.m. today, Paul Maurice will be in. At 4 p.m., John Ferguson will be in. Uh, at this time, I'll we'll introduce uh, Mr. Richard Petty. Thank you, John. Uh, I'm here today to announce that we have informed John Ferguson this morning that his contract as Vice President and General Manager of the Toronto Maple Leafs will not be renewed when it expires at the end of the season. As a result, the decision is made to relieve him of his duties effective today. In his place, Cliff Fletcher will serve as the interim general manager of the Toronto Maple Leafs. After full consideration of the Leafs situation, it has become clear that change and a new direction is needed. Regrettably, we did not win enough games and reach our goal of winning a Stanley Cup. Our team performance has fallen short of what has been expected. John is as fine a man as you will meet. We will always be grateful to him for his passion, commitment, and dedication. John is a man of the highest integrity who withstood often unfair public criticism with dignity and class. He represented the Leafs and the Toronto community in a first-class manner. We wish John well in what we expect will be a long and productive NHL career. Today, we need to forge the start of a new beginning for Toronto Maple Leafs. And we begin with the man seated next to me, a man with Hall of Fame credentials who is highly regarded by Leaf fans and by hockey people around the globe. We've reached out to Cliff Fletcher and his 50 plus years of hockey management experience to serve as general manager. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> of the Leafs on an interim basis. Cliff will have the autonomy and responsibility for all hockey manners with a focus on establishing a foundation from which the next general manager can build. We are pleased and confident that Cliff is the ideal person to lead us through this time of transition and to lay the groundwork upon which the next leader of the Leafs can build a Stanley Cup winner. The, the search for the next president and general manager of the Leafs begins today. Sports attorney Gordon Kirk and I will form the search team that will ultimately recommend the next president and general manager to the board of directors. Cliff Fletcher will serve as a trusted resource to us in that process. We believe that being president and general manager of the Toronto Maple Leafs is the top job in hockey. The person who fills that job will be a winner. He will both be both a long-term builder and a short-term fixer with NHL experience and established track record of success on and off the ice. Along with this extensive knowledge in the areas of drafting, identifying talent in, in all the professional, amateur and international ranks. He will work effectively with the media and be comfortable with the intense scrutiny that characterizes Toronto. He'll be able to make the tough decisions required to do the job. He will have the full autonomy to lead this hockey club in the manner he feels best. In Cliff Fletcher, we have a man who can lead us successfully through the upcoming trade deadline and towards the draft and free agency signing period. He provides us with the luxury of being able to conduct our search without the constraints of deadlines. At this time, I'd like to turn you over to Cliff to say a few words and then we'll take questions. Thanks very much, Richard. <clears throat> First of all, it's nice to be back in Toronto. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Richard and the board for give it, making me the custodian of the keys for a period of time, and I look forward to the challenge and to a few tough months ahead. Um, I know that here in Toronto, the expectations are high, and the key here is to initially start the process to move the club ahead to the next level so that it can compete with all the top teams in the league, which will eventually lead to playoff success. The first step as we start this afternoon 
will be to meet with all the people involved in the hockey department here, with the coaches, management people, and scouts. I'd like their input, and I'm looking forward to their input on how they see the internal operation of the hockey team here and how see, they see the club moving forward. Out of that, a plan will be developed on how we're going to pursue uh, the next few weeks. Uh, there's 35 days to the trade deadline, and within two weeks, we should be prepared to philosophically at least know what direction we have chosen to go in. I'm not going to make any comments as far as how I see uh, the team right now, because I don't think it's, it's fair. Uh, as an outsider, I've had the opportunity via uh, the uh, hockey package to see uh, a considerable number of Leaf games this year. But when you're on the outside, the forming opinions, sometimes those opinions change dramatically when you have a chance to work with the team and work with all the people involved with the team. The contract I, I signed uh, uh, with Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment is for a period of 19 months. The first part of it being as the interim general manager, as Richard alluded to, and the balance being as a consultant. There's really no time frame as to when the contract or when my position will move from managing to consulting. I'm very happy with this arrangement. I have no interest whatsoever in putting my name in the hat to become the permanent uh, long-term, hopefully, GM here. Uh, the position is for younger people, and it will be my pleasure, hopefully, to turn the team over